okay guys so today in this video we will be talking about express timeline plugin and I shall demonstrate you from the very start itself how to install it and then get started with it what are the settings and how to manually put a timeline on your website so basically this uh, plugin is used when you require any timeline on your website it can be anything for example uh, the company timeline if you want to put for example when the company started when it achieved certain milestones so it is useful in such scenarios so the very first steps that we shall be following is that we shall be moving into plugin and then um, add new plugin after which in the search bar we shall be typing the name of the plugin that is timeline express to that on finding it the very first one as i showed you we shall be clicking on install and then we shall be activating it after our plugin is activated it shall be shown on the sidebar as it can be seen on the very left side timeline express so we shall be taken on this so in case you want to uh, see the documentation you can see for it or else i shall be explaining you over here so very first thing that we shall be doing is more navigating to the settings page over here you can see the time frame it can be past and future or you can also navigate to settings page by uh, navigating via the sidebar and then display order it can be ascending or descending as whatever you wish ascending will be from small to highest that is the event that are uh, like for example you have events from 2017 2018 and 2019 so 2017 will be presented first and 2019 will be presented at the end then we have the announcement excerpt length which can be a minimum length of 25 and uh, 25 characters and if i for example if i type 100 then my excerpt length would be 100 characters the another feature is the data visibility that is if we toggle on certain uh, date then it can be visible or hidden if i select hidden then the description shall be hidden and if i select visible it shall be visible another one is read more visibility so read more visibility again we have visible and hidden option so uh, for that we can just uh, we have this read more button available so in case the customer wants to know more information about that particular event then the person can click on read more then we have the default icon and we have many options for that you can select the one you desire then we have the announcement default color so it is set to green so you can manually select that color and you can even override the settings within each announcement page so moving on to another setting that is the announcement container background color so it can be again you can select it whatever you wish another one we have is announcement shadow color and then the timeline background color then moving on to another important one that is uh, no message no announcement message so you can type in the message over there then we can move on to another setting that is disable timeline animation so you can check in the box and uh, checking this option shell of the disable the timeline animations while scrolling and another we have another setting we have is delete announcement on uninstall so basically uh, what this does is that it shall delete all the post when you just delete this uh, or uninstall this plugin so after doing all of the settings as per your requirement you can save the settings now moving on to adding some new announcements so basically i had already installed this plugin once and before recording this video so uh, i already have the announcements set in order to see all of your announcement uh, and if in case you are doing it for the very first time you may not have any of the announcement so moving on to new announcement so for creating a new announcement we shall go into new announcement section new announcement uh, option on the very left hand side the option we have for customizing this is announcement color which is defaultly set to green you can select your own preferred color 
and the very first thing that we need to add is the title of the announcement followed by the announcement icon so you have the option to choose your own announcement icon from the wide range of icons that are provided then you can add the announcement date and then in case you want to add any announcement banner you are also given a choice to upload that then the final section that is the description about the announcement so for me the cover was well recorded so i shall add that after which uh, you can after which you can just click on the publish icon now the very important part comes in that is to add this timeline express to the desired page so for that you need to navigate to the desired page for that you shall go to pages all pages and then the desired page for me it is news and events after you reach the particular page just add the timeline express tag as i have shown and then you are good to go after that select the publish icon and now I'm going to show you how the final look of the timeline shall look on the desired page. So just navigate to the desired page and refresh it. So here is how it shall look. We had created three timeline. So here you go with it. So thank you guys for watching it. And I hope that you like this explanation. I shall come up with more plugins like this explaining you in depth of how it should be installed and how it works. Till then, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my channel.